Well, hi there, and welcome back to Christopher's Corner with me, Christopher Michaels, a.k.a. Who's Your Chubby. Today I'm going to be unboxing some waxes that I've been waiting for for so long from Britta's Creepy Treasures. This is her Halloween collection, and I cannot wait to see what's in this box. So I just opened this up off camera so that no one freaks out that I'm using scissors because I know it freaks a lot of you out because you all know I'm still on blood thinners and I'm not supposed to cut myself accidentally. I wouldn't do it deliberately either. Hmm. Okay, so I've been waiting for these for the longest time because I've heard so many fabulous things about them and I love Halloween and scary movies and stuff and so let's get to it. And of course we have some cool green... Uh, Curly fries, as I call them. Let me get these, or at least most of them, out of the way. As you can see everything is individually packaged. That is terrific. This thing is full. All right, let me move this to the side. First thing in here is October 4th. Wait, hold on. Oh! Oh! This is so cool. You're supposed to open these on the days. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is so freaking awesome. So that's why there's so many packages. October 2nd, October 4th, October 10th. Hmm. Well. Uh-huh. Okay, so you know what, folks? I'm not going to open these. That's right, I'm not. I am going to wait until October. And I am going to open one on each day because I want to enjoy doing it that way, like a little kid. Um, you know, one of those event calendars for Christmas or Halloween, that's what this is like. I'm going to open these one at a time on the actual date and I will do a little video when I open it on that day. This means you'll be getting you know, a lot of updates from me. And then after it's done, I will post my thoughts on all of them because I really don't want to spoil this for myself. Uh, being like a little kid, October 7th, my mother's birthday, and seeing what these are. So um, I'm going to stop talking now and start inserting in October as I open these and give you my daily thoughts of what it smells like cold and smells like like warm. Now, if you're new to waxes and you're not sure what the hell I'm talking about, click the little eye up in the corner and you can watch that video. Go watch it now and come right back and watch the rest of this video. All right, well, I will see you in just a few days when we start this off. I am so excited. Okay, so I had originally planned to open one of these each day for October because I thought it would be so much fun, but unfortunately, life happens, I forgot, I'm old, what do you want? Um, and so I didn't do that. I'm going to do, today is the 16th, so I'm gonna do up until the 16th, and then I'll do another one either every day, right? or uh, in a bunch like I'm gonna do right now. So, we had for October 1st, and I have not opened any of these up yet, and I am excited now. Okay. I'm tearing the back. Mystique is right here. She thinks I'm eating something, she wants some of it. And for October 1st, we had have uh, The Betrayal. Uh, and this is by, uh, says by the Camp, Camphrey plus fire roasted marshmallows. I don't know what by the Camphrey is. Uh, plus fire roasted marshmallow plus marshmallow bomb. And it was poured, thank you so much for putting this information. Poured 9-3-2020. And it is a little tombstone. Oh, it feels nice in the hand. So 
so hopefully you can see that because I thought I would try a little something different today. Oh, it smells great. You want to smell it, Mystique? Go ahead. She's like, yeah, I can't eat it. <laughs> oh, wow. I really like this. I like the two-tone colors. By the way, people have asked, when something has more than one color, is it because the bottom part smells differently? No, it's just that they're two different colors um, for design or whatever the reason, but uh, it's all the same fragrance. So you don't have to worry about that because I know some people will cut this thinking that they, you know, cut it in half this way thinking that they're getting two different scents. You're not. Oh, I can't describe it. I really cannot. But I can tell you I like it. <laughs> uh, at least cold. And of course, cold versus warm can be 100% different. And again, this was the betrayal. Hopefully that's showing up. And I love it so much that she put the pour date. If everyone would put the pour or cure dates, that would be terrific, which reminds me. I got uh, some waxes from someone else, not Britta, someone else. And one of the comments I got from a viewer was that they had to let theirs sit on a shelf for a year for it to throw. Look through the comments, you'll see who I'm talking about. Let's see who wants to play. Um, that's unacceptable. If I buy waxes, she wants to play. You wanna play? Okay, okay, go get it, go get it. If I buy waxes, I want to be able to melt them the day that I get them. Okay, I'll go ahead and accept that maybe two weeks later I have to wait for that, okay. The max a month. But you know, it's ridiculous that someone has to put their wax on. And again, not Britta. It was someone else, watch my videos, look at the comments. But um, that you would have to wait, for, sorry for the noise, she's excited. That you would have to put them on a shelf for a year to get a decent throw out of them, unacceptable. And I am not going to buy from uh, people that do that. That's just bull. Uh, and I had problems with the throw. That's why I wrote to her. That's why I said, hey, this isn't throwing. And she, I've never heard that before. Well, obviously you did. Again, not Britta, someone else. You should not have to wait a year to be able to melt a wax. October 2nd. Yes, Miss Steve. And, oh, we have three little bottles. They're adorable. Uh, this is Sky Weekend. Sweet weather plus flannel sheets plus icy peppermint. Poured uh, 9 3 2020. Again, I am so freaking thrilled that all that information is on the label. This is definitely a, a company I will keep going to. Uh, just for that little part there. So we have the one, it's a potion bottle, has a witch's hat on it. It's adorable. And then we have. I can smell the mint. Then we have one with a scarab on it. Don't know if you could see it. And then we have one with the skull and crossbones. Or Storm says when he gives me medicines and things that have the same little design, it's pirate medicine. Go ahead and take it, Christopher. Take it quickly. Hmm. And the smell, peppermint. <laughs> Definitely a peppermint. Um, what else has this got? Flannel sheets, I don't know. Uh, icy peppermint, definitely. Yeah, it's a sweet peppermint. Um, I like it so far, at least cold. And I would probably would melt two of these. I don't know, you know what? I've, I've not done Brita's before. I'll, I'll melt one and see what the throw is and stuff. And then I'll decide if I should do two or not. Probably one will work, we'll see. I've only heard good things about Britta's waxes, so I'm so excited to have finally gotten some and uh, we'll be checking them out. And of course, I'll be updating all of them as I melt them. I'll let you know what I thought of them down in the description part of this video. October 3rd's wax was...
Two Little Pumpkins. And it is uh, final grade library plus vanilla ice cream plus brown sugar. And of course the pour date I've already said, they're all the same. Hopefully you can see that. And Amazon is delivering a package. I can hear them opening my garage door because we have that key thing and I love it. It's so cute, two little pumpkins, two tones. Okay. Definitely brown sugar. And I don't smell ice cream. And I don't know what library is supposed to smell like. It's brown sugar and something else. Oh. It's brown sugar and old books. You know how you open an old book and it has that smell? That's what it smells like. I'm not thrilled with the smell cold, but I'm really curious what it's going to smell like when it's warm. So. And again, check out my waxes 101 up in the corner here uh, to see uh, how to melt them and different tips and tricks and soap cutters. All that information will be in it. Okay, now, October 4th. By the way, I also didn't post this earlier because Britta had asked people not to post so that it wouldn't spoil uh, the surprise for people. Um, they had also gotten us being all individually wrapped and out of respect for her, I did not post before. Uh, and I did ask her permission if I could post now. Some people went ahead and posted. They didn't care. They didn't care if they ruined it for everyone else, but I respected Britta and I respect you. And that's why I waited to do this. And I will only go up until today's date and then I'll do the rest later. So again, October 4th. Let's see, this is cool. I'm sorry I didn't do them daily like I was going to, but it should happen, right? Ooh, it's so cool. And this is Britta's The Mask. Zucchini pumpkin bread, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and cedar, line, cedar land plus MM balm. I have no idea what those two last ones are or what the hell they mean. <laughs> um, I do know I just got one from a different company that had the zucchini bread and stuff. So it's interesting we have competition. Let's see now. Okay, so let's see here. This is cool. This is the exact, I got this in a different one, uh, this mold of the zombie monster. So, oh no. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, I don't like this one at all. I don't know what it is in here that I don't like, but I don't uh, like it. No, it's undescribable. I don't like the smell. It's ugh. again, though, I will warm it because it will probably smell completely different. Maybe I will like it then. Bakeries, I can't stand cold. They literally make me nauseous. And then I uh, warm them and it's like, oh my God, it smells so good. So, but I will warm it, but cold, yeah. All right, that was the fourth. Let's go for the fifth. There it is right in front of me, the fifth. By the way, did you get these? What did you think of them? Have you melted any? I will start immediately. Okay, same mold, uh, which is fine. Uh, and this is deep trouble. And this is October 5th again. Sea kelp, sundress, sundress, hmm. sundress and white jasmine. I'm sorry, white jasmine. And I love she uses a font that I can read when I can read. And uh, again, the pour dates on these is terrific because then you do have to let waxes age a little bit. A year is unacceptable. Um, it's good to know when they were poured in case you want to wait a little while before you melt them. Hmm. This smells like aloe vera to me. And roses? And maybe honeysuckle. I don't have my coffee. Maybe I need to cleanse my nose. And again, this was uh, sea kelp. Maybe. Uh, sundress, whatever that is. And white jasmine. Um, okay, well, this is what it smells like to me. 
but maybe that's what these things smell like because I don't walk around smelling sea kelp or white jasmine. So, well, I don't know. Although the jasmine, that might be what I'm smelling is the honeysuckle. Okay. And now we're on October 6th. I love that these are all individually wrapped uh, for every day of the month. I think that's so cool. And we have the Mind Reader. Palos Santos, Black Amber and Lavender, Vanilla Bean Marsh... Oh, Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that smells wonderful. And we have a leaf, a little tombstone, and a purple ghost. It looks, almost looks like a star. I love the way this smells. I can smell the Palos Santos and the, I don't know what black amber smells like, so I wouldn't know. Maybe a little bit of a lavender. Definitely the vanilla bean. But, oh my god, these smell fabulous. I can't wait to melt them. October 7th, this was my mother's birthday. She would have been 89. She was born in 1927, so she would have been 89. Um, but she died in 1996 of ovarian cancer. Actually, it was the lupus. She had lupus. That's what kind of did her in because her body could not deal with the uh, chemotherapy. So I always said it was the lupus that did her in, not the cancer, although of course it was the cancer. Ovarian cancer, ladies, please, please, please take care of yourselves and make, get checkups. And it likes to hide, and they did bunches of tests on her because she'd been sick for a long time. It likes to hide, um, and they just never found it until it was too late. And that's unfortunately something that ovarian cancer does because it's fucking evil. All right, so this one is two little pumpkins. Take them both out because they're different colors. Two little pumpkins. Two tones. And this one is Killer Kiss. Jelly Donut, Vanilla Ice Cream, Frankenberry, plus Cake Batter Fudge. Hey Storm, what do you think these smell like? When you hear the pin at first. Smells like a, mm. kind of like a raspberry, mm -hmm. almost like a raspberry cheesecake flavoring or something. No, not again. How much floss did you have to use to get all that wax out of your teeth? But they never felt so smooth. <laughs> these smell delicious. They really do. So I can't wait to melt these. I know a storm has problems with some of them because when they get warm, and I don't know about these, I'm talking about others, um, they start smelling like burning sugar. And he's right, because when he points it out, what he doesn't even have to anymore, it'll be like, oh yeah, it does smell like burning sugar. So hopefully these won't do that, but very nice. So now we're at October 8th. Oh, I'm doing the more excited I'm getting. These are so cool. I love the designs. I just got a Halloween one, which you can check from another vendor. And um, just a couple of them had Halloween designs. And it's like, this is the Halloween one, right? <laughs> Wasn't quite sure there. All right, this is Sunburn. Uh, flip flops, which in my day we called them thongs, but I'm 57. Now, of course, you say that, and that means underwear of some sort. So, flip flops plus salty sea air plus marshmallow balm. Ooh. Oh, I should be holding these up. I apologize. Okay, here we go. It's cute. It's got colors. I smell the salty sea air, but to me it smells like crayon. With a kind of a fruit or something? I don't know. Yeah. 
<laughs> but again, warm. Who knows? I will be updating as I say as I go down below, which I won't be able to do all in one day. It will take me a while to get through them all, but as I update them, or as I warn them, I will update in the descriptions. October 9th. <clears throat> this is Camp Out Coconut Chula. I guess that's uh, fire roasted marshmallow plus pie crust. My grandmother used to make the best pie crust in the world. And I loved it. <laughs> Could eat a one. Actually, you'd make pie crust cookies. You'd roll it out, and then you'd put butter, and then she would sprinkle cinnamon and sugar. She'd fold it over, roll it a little more. Butter, cinnamon, sugar, fold it over, roll a little more. And she would do this over and over for quite a few layers, and then she'd bake them in the oven, and oh my god, they were delicious. So if you ever had those, let me know. Maybe my family's the only one that made them. I don't know. We have a wizard's hat. I don't think it's a witch's hat because it has stars. So I think it's a wizard's hat, but I could be wrong. We have a UFO. I think I'm smelling chocolate. Oh, two UFOs, sorry. This is, did I read it yet? Yes, camp out, yeah. Uh, Count Chocula, that's what that is. Count Chocula, fire roasted marshmallows plus pie crust. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely smell the Count Chocula. This doesn't smell like Tootsie Rolls, which someone else is dead. This smells like Count Chocula. Oh my God, it smells so good. So good. I used to always beg my mother when I was a little kid, can I have cow chocolate? You don't eat it. Oh, I will, I promise, I promise. I never would, I didn't like it. But uh, I just wanted it because it was so cool in the box and the commercials. And yeah, those commercials sold it to me. So as a little kid, I'm glad they don't do that to kids anymore <laughs> and to parents. And then this is October 10th. Again, if you have these, if you got them this year, what do you think? How are they compared to other years? This is my first year. And we have bottles again, just like the other bottles. Bad Moonlight. Oh my. Lord of Mer Miseral. Lord of Miseral. Uh, patchouli. Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Hopefully you can see that. And if I'm mispronouncing any of these, I apologize. <laughs> and of course, like I say, these are just like the other ones. However, the other one had the white bottle and you couldn't quite see it. So that's the one with the scarab. I believe it is. So I'll take it in. Mm -hmm. Definitely smell the, um, the uh, patchouli, a little bit of the vanilla. Yeah, I don't know what the Lord of Miserable is, so, but uh, definitely smell the patchouli. Okay, October 11th. So fun. I love this. I'll be getting them every year. Okay, and I think I just ordered the holiday one. I think it was hers. It might have been someone else's. The Christmas one. I'm pretty sure it was Britta's. Uh, Night of the Living Dummy. Oh, it's all about Donald Trump. Okay, uh, tea and cakes plus almond biscotti. I think I'm saying that biscotti. And then plus jelly donut. Okay. By the way, don't forget to go to vote.org and register, update your information, and please vote if you haven't already. I already did. Vote for Biden. Um,. So please vote. Oh, this is wonderful. Mm, I smell the almond, a little bit of the jelly. Don't know about the tea cakes, but oh my God, that smells so good. It smells rich and delicious. I love the, the, the shape of it and the colors. Yeah, this smells like something you would get at uh, a bakery or a coffee shop, you know, to have with your cup of coffee you just bought. And you sit there and you read your book or get on your laptop or something. Right, Mystique? <laughs> cool. 
cool. Very cool. Okay, we have a couple more to go to catch us up on the date. Again, sorry I didn't do them daily like I promised. I'm a horrible person. This is October 12th. To be honest with you, I've been kind of like burned out on YouTube. Not anything you guys have done, not any of the things I've purchased, but when YouTube stopped sending out the email notifications and all, I don't know, it hit me hard. It hit me really hard because I loved getting those every day. I loved clicking on them and watching all of you out there who I follow. And uh, now I'm completely lost. I hate the little app that you have to use now. And uh, I just got mad because it just seems like YouTube wants to make it harder and harder on um, the people that post on it. And I just need to take a little bit of a break from YouTube. I apologize for that, but seriously thought about not doing videos anymore at all. And that's still in my head a little bit. So I don't know, we'll see how I feel uh, later. But I love you guys and I love hearing from you and I love commenting back to you. And it makes me feel like I'm, you know, a part of your life and your world and stuff. And the, that all dropped a lot when these notifications stopped coming out. And it just kind of broke my heart a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, so thank you for commenting. And of course, always like and subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to share the videos because now that notifications are not going out, that's kind of the only way people are going to, you know, learn about my channel. So, I'll most likely stick with it. We'll see. Uh, wrong number! Remember that old movie, Barbara Stanwyck? Sorry, wrong number. Uh, Snuggle, I guess the fabric softener. Uh, White Clouds. Uh, Gain Island Fresh, I guess the, the laundry soap. Van plus, plus Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. And, well, I'll just take it out. It's small anyway, right? And again, we have our little zombie friend, or whatever he is. I love the, the purple and the blue, the two-tone. That's very cool. Definitely smells like laundry detergent fabric softener, which I actually don't use fabric softener because it makes my nose plug up. So I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> Uh, this might be one that Storm uses on his side of the house, and uh, me not. <clears throat> I have an allergy to smoke when my nose plugs up, except for Palo Santos for some reason. Uh, and uh, laundry detergents will do it too. Some colognes, but not all of them. 13th, October 13th, we had, have, have So cool how she does this. Like Anna Zombie. Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. Ooh. <laughs> Grass plus watermelon plus honeydew. Ooh, sounds delicious already. Plus strawberry uh, and then raspberry guava. Okay. Well, it certainly sounds great. Stick see someone out the front door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, you can smell the, the honeydew. The watermelon, the honeydew. Those are the only ones I'm picking up, and those are plenty for me. Oh, my God, that smells good. Something that um, Holly Fluffy and the Witch was telling me about was how disappointing it can be when you find something like, say, this one. I just love the way this smells. You get one in one of these packages for holidays and you love it. And then you can't get it for another year because it's a holiday fragrance. That's a real bummer. And that is uh, that is true. And you don't know which ones you want until after you've gotten one of these. So um, hopefully uh, a lot of the uh, vendors will keep making these throughout the holidays so that when you smell it and you go, oh my God, I want more of that, hopefully we can buy them. Instead of having to wait a year for another box like this to be made, hoping it'll be in there. 
So that's something to think about maybe if the vendors could. October 14th, just seems like yesterday. Tombstone. And it's Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. Uh, Sour Patch Kids, can't stand the way they taste. Gummy Bear Slushy plus Blue Raspberry Jolly Rangers. Well, Storm loves Jolly Rangers to eat. So. Oh, I didn't hold it up for you, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, my hands shake. I'm that way since I was a kid. A little tombstone, two, st uh, two colors. Mmm, definitely smells like those candies. It's nice. <laughs> not excited because they're not candies I eat, so I would smell them and go, Ugh. But I think Storm might like this a lot as long as it doesn't turn into, actually, that last Swift was like a lifesaver. Um, as long as it doesn't turn into the burning sugar smell, I think he'll like that one a lot. And I probably will too. It's just my first thought was, I don't eat this. <laughs> look like I eat them, but I don't eat them. And the last one for now, October 15th, which is today. And then I'm caught up, basically. Two little pumpkins. And, ooh, Werewolf of Fever Swamp. Sounds like a good movie. Uh, Barnwood plus Winter Nights plus Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. Okay. I'll dump them both out so I can show them to you. They're so cute, I hate melting them. I really do. <laughs> but I will. Oh, I know what it smells like now. You know how you have your windows open in the winter or fall and your neighbor has their fireplace going or maybe you have your own fireplace going. It's that fireplace smell. And I don't like the fireplace smell because again, that plugs up my nose really bad. So it's like, oh great. <laughs> my, first, my first instinct is shut all the windows. <laughs> uh, God, I hate having this allergy, I really do. I've never smoked in my life, but my family did big time, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. And I used to think people, I would see them on old talk shows like in the 80s, talking about their environmental allergies, and I thought, you people are all fucking nuts. There's no such thing. And guess what? Karma caught me in the ass, because unfortunately there are environmental allergies, and I've got some of it with the smoke and all. Anyway, that takes us up until now, October 15th. I'm probably going to edit this video and get it up now, and then I'll do the rest later as a part two. Um, again, sorry I didn't do them daily like I was going to. I, what can I say? I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. So thank you for watching. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media as Who's Your Chubby. And then, of course, please uh, check out my webpage. Uh, www.christophercorner.com or Christopher Michaels, uh, www.christophermichaels.com or www.whosyourchubby.com. And then, of course, please click the Black Lives Matter link down below. Very important. Please show your support there. And then again, as I said, vote.org. Um, November is literally 15 days away. You've got your votes in, or we'll get your votes in. Hey, don't let anyone stop you. If you have to stand in line for hours, take a lunch or something, please do it. We have got to have change, or we are all fucking doomed. I mean that. I'm so frightened about the outcome of this election, and is it going to be fixed? What's going to happen? All right, other than that, I think that's about it. Of course, wear your mask, and stay safe, stay sane, stay happy, stay healthy. Until next time... Happy Halloween and bye.